What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Alphexia. Welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back today. Oh, yes, today it is time for some more brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And we are going to be looking at the latest and greatest secret area boss that has been added to Bee Swarm Simulator. Oh, my goodness me. Um, So, yeah. This one, of course, came out with the latest update, which we are playing through as of right this very second. Uh, yeah, hopefully, like, I'm going to upload these in order. But, yeah, this is kind of like more of a standalone episode where we're just going to be focusing on this new secret boss. And, uh, yeah, this is a really cool one. So it was released in the latest update. And I guess kind of there are some secret areas in this game. And there always have been throughout the sort of, you know, development and stuff. Um, so I guess like the best example of that, of course, is the King Beetle, who uh, we might actually go and take down today. I haven't actually taken him down since the new update was up. And um, yeah, I'm kind of wondering, like, what's changed? Has anything really changed with the, uh, the King Beetle? What are the items that we're going to get from him? I have no idea. But today we are going to be looking at the secret tunnel bear. Dun dun dun, the tunnel bear. Oh my goodness me. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you where to find the tunnel bear. And yeah, I'm also going to be telling you what he actually drops and stuff. But the only problem is currently, as of recording this episode right now, I think all of my bees are now level five. Um, so yeah, we're kind of continuing on with the quest line and stuff. Um, but I don't know if my bees are actually strong enough to take down the tunnel bear. I kind of feel like he's probably more of like one of those end game style bosses that, um, you know, you kind of have to work towards and it's like a nice little reward if you level up your bees quite a lot. I mean, we'll give it a couple of goes, but I'm not promising that we can actually take him down today. However, I do know what he drops. And basically, this is amazing, right? The first time that you take down the tunnel bear, he will drop this item here, which is the star egg. So this is an amazing egg. It's a thousand Robux worth of egg and it always hatches a gifted bee that you don't already own. That's amazing. So I'm thinking about maybe playing around with some of these star eggs in a different episode. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome reward. And apparently, even if you do take him down, if you then go and take him down again, because he does respawn, he'll also drop different awesome items. But I think he only ever drops one star egg. So, where do you find him? Well, this is a pretty good place to start because basically, up here, next to the pineapple patch, there is this machine. So, this has been here for ages, and if you remember correctly, uh, at the back of this, Black Bear's title is a clue for one of the codes, and if I remember correctly, that code is Connoisseur. I think we'd covered that ages and ages ago. However, this machine is not all that it seems, and this is actually the location for the Tunnel Bear. Are we ready? Are we ready? This is really mad. So three, two, one. If we just drop in. Whoop! This is it. This is it. Look, look, look. <laughs> this is the secret tunnel. This is so weird. Tunnel bear! Are, are you kidding? I got one hit KO'd. <laughs> I think we need to run. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So yeah, check this out. If you actually fly, you can see the tunnel. Do you see it? The big long white thing? So it's not exactly the most hidden secret in the world, but I suppose the entrance is pretty well hidden. Wait, am I just supposed to run? So what I think we need to do here, right? The strat is quite simple. He will one hit KO you if you get anywhere near him. Where are my bees? Bees? Uh, wait. Has it made every single one of my bees tired? Oh my goodness, it has. What? I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, we're off to a terrible start here, lads. Are you kidding me? So what I think I need to do is as soon as the tunnel bear drops in, we need to basically start moving. So as soon as he actually touches us, we die. It's an instant one-hit KO. And this is kind of the same principle uh, with the other secret tunnel that gives you the free golden egg, which we did cover on the channel as well. Um, come on, bees. We've got a tunnel bear to fight. What are you doing? Right, as they say, second time's the charm. Um, yeah, okay. I, I mean, I haven't actually beat it. This is the first time I've beat it here, so apologies. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. All right, okay. Come on, bees. Let's go. Let's try this again. So as soon as we drop in, I'm going to try and move a little bit, I guess, just to sort of try and get out the way. 
Uh, but here we go. So, I, I, oh, yeah, it's this one. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go try and get out the way of him. And now he should drop in. There he is. There's the tunnel bear. So there he is. There he is. There he is. Do you see him? So he's just, like, completely black. He has no skin on him whatsoever. But what you need to do is you slowly need to work your way down the tunnel and get your bees to attack him. There we go. There we go. So you need to stay fairly close. Now, that's the secret. It's staying the correct distance away from him in order to actually not get hit, but at the same time, get your bees to do some damage. So, unfortunately, as you can see, this tunnel bear is level 8, and all of our bees are only level 5. So, unfortunately, we are not going to take him down. Um, so, what we need to do is we need to basically start leveling up our bees. We need some better attackers. Uh, maybe we need to get like a couple of rage bees, something to do some criticals, but our bees are nowhere near strong enough to take down this tunnel bear. Oh jeez, tunnel bear, you have zero chill. And I don't think I can get past him. I'll try it, but I don't think I can. And the only problem is, is that this tunnel is going to run out eventually. So this I think is the strat. If you can just sort of stay just in front of him, because if you run too far ahead, then your bees will not actually attack him. So yeah, look how strong he is, man. Are you kidding? I've done so little damage. Look at all his misses. I think one of my bees is hitting. Or maybe a couple of them, but not many. Not many at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. When's the tunnel going to end? Oh, no. The tunnel is ending. The tunnel is ending, lads. No. Tunnel bear. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So yeah, I think this is kind of more of like one of the end game bosses for this current update it's going to encourage you to want to keep leveling up your bees keep making them stronger try and get some good attackers something with some critical boosts um maybe like a rage bee or something man if you could get like a gifted version of some of those bees oh geez oh geez tunnel bear why well yeah there you have it tunnel bear has zero chill absolute zero chill when it comes to giving us his free and amazing star egg i want that star egg man i want that star egg so bad but i think defeating him is probably gonna have to wait for another day it's also amazing that the bees are very 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 slow to return from him and as soon as you die i don't know if this is an actual thing if you die anywhere else on the map does it take this long to respawn your bees i'm not too sure you know here they come got my lion bees which are pretty much useless to me right now and taking down this Stupid tunnel babs. <laughs> um, yeah, but in theory, though, in theory, these guys should be pretty good. They've got a five attack. It's not great, though, is it? Five attack. Is, I know, five attack is pretty good. I mean, but yeah, so so that's the tunnel bear. It's a really, really awesome hidden little area. So what I think we'll do now is just for the fun of it, um, why don't we, why don't we wait for these bees to respawn and then we can actually, um go and try and take down the king beetle so i haven't taken down the king beetle yet and i'm wondering if it's going to be any more difficult uh, because of the level of it i'm not too sure i haven't tried it yet of course nowadays taking down enemies is so important uh when it comes to leveling your bees uh, but it also is difficult because some of the some of them are quite sort of difficult to take down so oh yeah just a little like top tip here that i discovered when i was just grinding around um the werewolf the werewolf is awesome now um because it actually has a percentage chance to drop 50 treats when you defeat him. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend every single hour that you're playing, make sure you go and take down the werewolf because occasionally he can drop 50 treats as a reward, which is really good. It's only happened to me once so far, and I think I've taken him down maybe four or five times. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that because it's kind of uh, something that I... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, my bees aren't even here yet. Bees! Okay, what level is he? He's level 7. Ooh. Now I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I can take him down. I mean, in theory, I suppose. I mean, some critical things. I'm still getting a lot of misses. It's definitely much slower. So I think, yeah, definitely the King Beetle is much harder now. And it's interesting because... The King Beetle was something that I could farm pretty easily um, and get, like, you know, the free Royal Jelly every two days. But if it's any... Oh, I'm taking hits, man. I'm taking hits. I'm waiting just that little bit too long. All right. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do this. This may take, I don't know, a couple of minutes. I quite like the fact that it's a little bit trickier. Um, 
because it does encourage you to want to level up your bees. And of course, like from level five, I've basically, it's all done like completely for free. It's just a case of you just keep grinding. Uh, you keep saving up the special treats. You keep finding the basic treats. You keep defeating the enemies. But yeah, my top tip is make the most of the werewolf. I mean, he spawns every single hour. Um, and yeah, what I do is if I haven't got any of them for a polar bear quest, I do a little loop. So I go and take down the werewolf and then the two mantis. And then I go around to the scorpions and I take those down. Uh, and then I go and fly over to the pineapple and then I go and take down the mantis. And then I know, oh, and the spider as well. I kind of do like little loops because as well as upping your battle points, you're also upping your B uh, experience rate and you also just get a chance to, to get some free goodies as well. So I think so far we're actually doing not too bad here. Not too bad. We're about halfway down on the old King Beetle. So let's keep going. Oh, I think we're getting super close here. I think we're getting pretty close, man. The King Beetle is going down. Oh my jeez. Oh my jeez. He's harder. He definitely takes longer. It's not so much that the actual motion is harder, because once you actually get the rhythm down, it's really not too bad. Um... But it's just a case of you're going to be spending longer down here with a lower level set of bees. And of course, I'm not actually going and getting any of the tokens. I just don't want to take any like silly hits. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, but it's nothing too bad. We should be super close now. I'm wondering... I'm wondering if he's going to drop any special treats. That would be really cool. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, we're getting so close now. It must be like another 10, 20 seconds, if that. Come on! Come on, let's go, bees! My mighty army of bees. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. We're still getting lots of misses, but I mean, we're getting a few hits. We're getting enough hits to make it effective, I guess. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, two royal jelly tickets, five gumdrops, and 215,000 honey. So I didn't get any treats. 150 battle points, though, is really good. And at least we know that we can take him down. He's a little bit slower. We did get those two royal jellies, which is nice. Um... But yeah, I was expecting maybe a little bit of fruit. That's the thing, though. This is this is the thing that we're doing with the testing here. So what I'll do is I'll go and take him down again in another couple of days. And we'll see if we get any, like, treats and stuff. I was kind of hoping maybe for, I don't know, like 50, 50 regular treats or something like that. But it's all good, man. It's all good. Okie dokies. So yeah, that's going to be about it for today's episode here. F for this one anyway, there's probably going to be a double bee swarm simulator up uh, up uh, upload today. So you may have already seen that one or not. I don't know which order I'm going to upload them in. But yeah, that is the secret tunnel bear. So make sure you guys get grinding on them bees. I think you're probably going to need like a minimum level seven bees, I would imagine. That's just a guess. But yeah, it's a tough one. But I think it's going to be worth it because at the end of it, they, if you actually get him down, you are guaranteed a gifted bee, which is awesome. Uh, well, yeah, thank you very much for watching. So if you did enjoy this, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio!